Once upon a time, in a small town in Pleasantville, there lived a curious and adventurous boy named Asa. Early morning, to his parents' surprise, Asa was eager to go to his new school, Yahweh Preschool. To his surprise, Mr. Grace said, No adventure today. He and his friends became very sad. As she stepped out of the class, Asa and his friends took the book and opened it. As he opened the pages, he found himself magically transported into the world of the Bible. Asa and friends found themselves standing on the shores of a vast sea. Before them, a massive wooden ark towered into the sky. This magical journey has brought them to the story of Noah's ark and the importance of obeying God. As he stepped onto the ark, he was greeted by a wise talking owl named Harmony. Welcome, Asa. I am here to guide you on a journey through time and teach you valuable lessons. Are you ready? Asa's friends help Noah as he explores the ark with Harmony. Asa witnessed the animals marching in pairs and felt the raindrops as the flood began. Harmony asked, Can you spell rain? R-A-I-N. Good job. It's very important to obey God's instructions, just as Noah did, because God loves us and he always has a bigger and better plan for our lives. Asa met friendly animals who shared their experiences from the ark. I am elephant. I like playing in the rain. Can you spell elephant? E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T. Well done. I am monkey. I like swinging from the branches inside the ark. Can you spell monkey a wise? M-O-N-K-E-Y. Good job. As his magical journey unfolded, Asa grew wiser and more understanding of the importance of following God's guidance. He learned that obedience brings blessings, and that even in challenging times, trusting in God's plan leads to something beautiful, just like the rainbow after the storm. As the adventure came to an end, Asa found himself back in his classroom holding the book. Asa embraced the teachings from his magical journey through the Bible and asked for forgiveness from Ms. Grace for disobeying. She forgave him and told the class that today is a field trip to the church carnival. That's why there's no adventure today. Asa realized the obeying is best because there is always a bigger and better plan for us all. With excitement, he got on the bus and they enjoyed the carnival. <laughs>